this is Beth. I was here last week, and now I'm here with my friend Natalie. Hi. Have you had a good summer, Natalie? I have. Well, summer's almost over for most of us, and so today we are going to be decorating some stuff for you to take back to school. Show your personality. And make it just a little more fun than going back to school. <laughs> so today, I am going to start off by decorating a pencil case. Just a plastic one that you can get many places, but I'm going to add my own personal touches to it. And so what we're going to use is foam. It's kind of cutty foam. Um, you can find it a lot of different places, whatever color you want. And hot glue, which if you're doing this by yourself, remember it is very hot. You may want to wait for a grown-up to be around if that's something you're not familiar with. Now, for my design, I decided to get kind of complicated because I was looking in our archives um, and ran across a Hall of Fame member named Frederick Drummond. And while his day job was that he was a rancher and businessman, uh, he was instrumental in leading the way to get uh, the Tall Crass Prairie Reserve out by Pawhuska, Oklahoma. Um, made into a reserve. Have you ever been there, Nathan? I have, but it's been a long time. I need to go back. I, th I think so, too. It's very peaceful up there. Mm -hmm. If you've never been, I highly suggest it. It's, um, if you're not familiar with a nature preserve, a uh, preserve is a place where um, it's kept free of, of development and nobody can build any stores or roads there. It's just to keep things natural for animals and plants to be safe. And one of the animals that's most famous in Tallgrass Prairie are buffalo, the big herds of buffalo or bison. And so I, I wasn't sure I could draw a buffalo, so I printed some out in, as a template, and then I put them on the foam and just kind of drew it around like this, and then it kind of smushed the design, and then I was able to cut it out. And I've already started with my buffalo family, and just gluing the back. But it can't be the tall grass prairie without grass. So here's how we do the shapes. Just decide which part you want the back. Be the back, just kind of arrange how you want it. And then here, a line of oops, hot glue, being very careful so you don't get it on anything you don't want to, like yourself. And then take it and, oops, I want to hide my little baby, my little baby buffalo, and put it into place. So, so there I have my little prairie. Now I did want to add just a little more and show you how easy it is to cut out foam. Because it's kind of blank up here, don't you think? Yeah. Go ahead the sky. Yeah. And if you've lived in Oklahoma for a little while, you know that sometimes we get stormy, cloudy skies. It's in our state song where the wind comes right behind the rain. We could use some more rain. Although, they're buffalo. Buffalo aren't really scared of anything. That's the thing. You never want to think of buffalo as just, they look like cows, but they're wild animals. pretty good. What about the sun? Well, there's there's clouds. There's no sun when there's clouds. Right. It's behind it's a, it's a cloudy day. It is a it's cloudy a cloudy day. day. We don't always have to have the sun in the sky. No. Because clouds are good. They mean rain and they make it cooler. They make it 
I would like. Well. I would like it to rain. We all would like it to rain. So everybody think rainy thoughts of the sky. So there we go. We have started with our pencil case, and now it is time. Have you ever been, gone to school and you have like a new backpack and you think that it's awesome, but then someone else has the same backpack and then you get them mixed up? So we are going to make tags with your name on them to make them different. So how are we going to make our backpack name tags? Well, we're going to need a few things. Um, we're going to need a hole punch. This one is uh, a star shape, but it can be any kind of hole punch. Some duct tape. I picked this plaid pattern duct tape, but you can pick duct tape with stars or dogs and cats. They've got lots of really cool duct tape patterns to choose from, so pick your favorite. Um, we have a little key ring here to put your backpack name tag on. We have a note card to write your name on. And we've got a sheet of felt. Now this can be any color because we're going to cover it up with the duct tape. Um, and if you don't have felt, you can use foam sheet, cardboard, a little piece of fabric, from an old shirt maybe. So this will be the base okay. for your name tag. So <clears throat> you're gonna want to cut or have a have an adult help you cut. Um, a rectangle out of your felt that's about the same size as this note card. I've already done that here. And with this, we're going to cover it with your duct tape. Put our first piece of tape across the top. like you're making a little picture tip frame. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got one side of our felt rectangle covered and now for this spot on the other side we're going to cover it with more tape. Alright, so make sure all of your Corners and edges are folded over. All the tape is flat. Now, you're going to want to take your note card and get some markers or crayons or pens or colored pencils, your favorite writing utensils, and you're going to want to write your name. And if you're like me, uh, when I was in school, I had some other people in my class who also had my same first name. So you might want to write your first name and then your last name, or the first letter of your last name, just so that, you know, if you and another classmate have the same name, you don't want to get your bags mixed up. So I've already written my name on my note card. Uh, I used markers and added some fun little shapes and doodles just to make it my own, personalize it. So now, you're going to position your note card with your name, and we're going to put some clear tape on top so that it's stuck to the back of your name tag. Flat. 
make sure your note card is covered with tape on all corners. Uh, and now, <clears throat> the very last step is to punch a hole in one end of your backpack name tag. So I'm going to choose this side. Use my star hole punch. I have to be kind of strong for that one. Yeah. And once you've got a hole punched through, you're going to take that key ring from earlier, open it up, and poke it on through. And there you have it. Now you've got a really fun, personalized backpack name tag. That you made yourself? Yeah. So, that's a case, name tag. You ready to go? Yeah, I think I, th I think we're ready to go back to school. And we're still open on the weekends, so you can still come visit us on Saturdays. Yeah. So we hope you have enjoyed this next this edition of OHOF in the Wild, and that you're all set and excited to go learn more in school. And then we will see you next time. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.